Groups of people once again filling up Civic Center Park today for the fourth day of protests calling for justice in the death of George Floyd. He is the black man who died while in police custody in Minneapolis. And protests in Denver, once again today, the daytime protests have been peaceful. The protests have turned violent, though, the past three nights. By this time yesterday, we were already getting our first reports of a standoff between protesters and police. And today, Mayor Michael Hancock pleaded for peace. Well, let's not have another night uh, like we've had the last few nights. Uh, let's all take this night to breathe and to prepare for a week of work and recovery in our city. Let's go now to a live look at the protests happening near the Capitol on day four in Denver. You see people moving through the streets at this hour. Some have been marching around downtown. Others have been sitting in the grass of Civic Center Park chanting in unity. One demonstrator told us today he believes the protests are leading to real change and he points back to the George Floyd case. Um, I'm actually very hopeful and I feel like we've made a lot of progress. They arrested the cop. I believe that the other three should face charges as well, but that's huge progress. I mean, like three days and he got arrested. That's huge. So clearly something's working, right? And again, a pattern has emerged in the past few nights. Protests start with calm and a message calling for justice and equality. And not until the sun goes down do we start to see images like this, things turning violent. The city of Denver has once again put a curfew in effect. This is the second night in a row, and that curfew starts at 8 o'clock. Nine News reporter Noel Brennan is with photojournalist Foster Gaines live in front of the state capitol where a lot of this action has been happening over the past four days. Noel. Right, Steve, and the lawn here at the Capitol has started to fill up with a whole bunch of people. They've been making their way over to the Capitol, some of them from Civic Center Park, also from the Greek Amphitheater. The crowd is large, it's growing, but it doesn't seem as big as we saw yesterday. I'm going to step out in the Lincoln because Denver police have actually closed it down already. Several blocks you see Denver police officers out there. So we've been following these protesters today as they've been marching through the city and as they left Civic Center Park. They eventually made their way onto Spear Boulevard where they stopped at the Denver Performing Arts Center. The large group of protesters laid flat on their stomachs. They held their hands behind their backs and they chanted, I can't breathe for several minutes. It was yet another peaceful start to the afternoon like we've seen the past few days. Earlier today, Mayor Michael Hancock and Denver Police Chief Paul Pazin spoke to reporters outside the city and county building. They addressed the violence from Saturday night and the police chief explained uh, the department's use of force policy when it comes to protests. Both activists and allies worked jointly to create clearly defines when tear gas, pepper ball, or any of our less lethal munitions can and will be used. And each of those are done in accordance with that policy. So active aggression is that threshold to use tear gas. And somebody throwing rocks, Few agitators throwing rocks, individuals that uh, hide under the veil of peaceful protests and create criminal and assaultive behavior must be addressed. And that's exactly how we do it. Denver police say they made 83 arrests last night alone for things like assault. There were also weapons violations, criminal mischief, damage to property, stuff like that. Steve and Jenny, this is the second night of the 8 p.m. curfew. We know a whole bunch of people who are out here right now intend on staying out until 8 p.m. and later. Noel, that, that has to be the first time that we've seen officers block off Lincoln Avenue like that. Yesterday, we saw a lot of traffic moving through around this time as people were coming through. Curious if you could tell us a bit more about the police presence there outside of that roadblock. Are you seeing a lot of officers around there right now? It doesn't appear that there are a lot of officers close by. In fact, those are the closest police vehicles I can see two blocks away. So it, it's not like we're having officers surrounding the Capitol right now. Police seem to be keeping their distance, but they're also proactively closing down Lincoln, perhaps anticipating what will happen as uh, the hours go on. Our Noel Brennan live outside the state Capitol. Noel, you and Foster, please stay, stay, stay safe tonight. We appreciate it. Uh, Denver Health says paramedics got about 45 calls related to Saturday's riot uh, from injuries like irritated eyes to injuries from projectiles that were thrown. 31 people were taken to the hospital. 14 more were either treated on scene or refused care at the hospital.
And then there were the three officers and one civilian Denver police say were hit by a car near East Colfax in Logan. As we mentioned earlier, officers do have a suspect in custody. Police Chief Paul Pazin says one officer is still in the hospital and that officer is expected to make a full recovery. We truly appreciate the public's concern for our officers. And again, these officers who were injured were doing so while serving our community. Our police officers are members of this community, just like you. Chief Pazin says, all three officers are looking forward to getting back out there to protect the city once again. We're trying to figure out how that civilian who was hurt is doing. Denver police say they don't have information on that at this time.